Push! 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 Push!
Welcome back to St Nits Town TV. Uh, terrific performance today. Enthralling win. I really enjoyed that. And uh, we're into the next round. Um, what do you make of that, Gary? Yeah, I think it was a great advert for the trophy. Uh, cup game played in typical cup spirit end to end. It was 
you know, there's two teams still going at each other right to the death. So uh, I would imagine for a neutral, it was a good one to watch. I mean, we're all excited ahead of this game because, um, you know, Darlington, I know they're like a, a club climbing back up to where they ought to be. Um, but there's still a massive buzz around this tie. And, um, well, we got our reward today. But, um, Liam, what did you make of that red card situation? I'm sure Darlington will say that changed the game completely. Yeah, they will. But it was justified. I spoke to the manager or the assistant manager afterwards and, and he's seen it. Uh, their manager had seen it. So they, they couldn't really complain about that. I'd just be very disappointed in the lad if I was them. He's let his teammates down. He's let his team down. Three minutes in, um, playing with ten men for 93 minutes away from home is always going to be difficult. The lads applied themselves very well and, and it gave us a little bit of an easier job uh, to get on with it. It put them on, under a little bit more pressure. Um, I thought the lads responded really, really well after the sending off. Yeah, we just kept our call, didn't we? And um, Matty, I suppose Darlington bunched up in the middle. We took the ball wide, took advantage of the space and, and made them work, didn't we? Yeah, I think that was the key, really. I think, obviously, when, when it... They're going to pack the midfield and try and get them, try and get us to play a little bit wider, or try and bring us through the middle. But in the end, I think we got the ball wide, wide at times and at the right time, and put balls in the box. And I think even like in the first half, we created a few chances where it, if it, the ball would have gone for us, we, we could have been one up, two up before half time. So, so no, it was a, it was a good performance in the end. Liam, what was the message to the lads in the sec in the uh, half time interval? Because um crucial time of the game really because Darlington were still in the mix and applying themselves and creating the odd chance as well. I told them to put their foot on the gas. I felt that I didn't want them to step off it. I think very easily when you play against 10 men you can pass the responsibility onto the other players and think that he's going to step forward and do it or he's going to and the game can pass you by and you can almost get caught in a situation where five minutes to go you start to panic so if I'm honest I give the boys a bit of a rocket at half time and said listen we need to be on this no one cheating everybody pushing the same way and I felt I needed to fire them up to make sure that we didn't have them stepping off the gas and they didn't they went out in the second half and they performed very well uh, and, and the players that we know can do two good things took responsibility today and, and really pushed on and, and got us through the cup tie. Gary we've seen um, Lewis Hilliard score some fine goals and um, today was well, probably no finer than he scored previously to be honest great finish and he stepped inside and slotted into the top corner lovely what do you make of Lewis's performance and his goals? finish was fantastic but his performance was was fantastic as well I thought in the first half he was a constant threat to them um, you know and uh, you know Lou in the end when they they are getting numbers behind the ball they're, they're obviously defense, defensively a hard unit to break down I think they came into today's game without having conceded a goal in seven or eight league games so um, they're always going to be hard to break down and in the end it was a bit of individual magic which unlocked them um, so uh, you know credit to Lou for that. And Drew Roberts, crucially, got us back into the tie again, didn't he? Um, and put us ahead in the game with, well, he just does what he does. He gets on that defender's shoulder and he sprung first, didn't he, Lynn? Yeah, fantastic finish from Drew. He's had a bit of a, a barren spell. He's gone a few games without scoring, which will be frustrating for him because he's got such high standards. He likes to score every week. If he doesn't score every week, he's, <laughs> he's upset. So it's quite difficult to sometimes control him, you know, and keep him nice and patient. He keeps getting the chances and, and we know we'll score them. Um, I was a bit disappointed we let them back into the game so su suddenly. Um, it was a typical cup tie, yes, and they throw up, thrown everything forward. But yeah, going back to Drew, fantastic header um, and he deserves it because he worked his socks off today. Mate, it was an exciting game for the fans today. How did the players find it on the pitch? Obviously, you were there in the middle of midfield. What did it feel like today? Good crowd today. Um, yeah, it's good. It's good, but like we've we've done well. We've done well to get ourselves ahead, and then it's just so disappointing. And luckily, it was only I was only disappointed for like three minutes yeah. because we go back up the other end and score a goal to put us back in front. But yeah, to to do work as hard as we have, because it's difficult playing against uh, ten minute times. Um, they just shut up shop and, and, and they don't give you any chances and that don't really take any risks because a draw for them would have been a good result. Um, so no, I think I think in the end it, we, we've come out with, with, with the win which is good for us and, and we've had some, another set of good performances, not just one or two but like seven, eight, nine that have really performed well again. So we just keep 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 going, keep keep going forward and, and see where it takes us. Alright, there's no let off Liam. League action Tuesday night, Cambridge City. Um, what are your thoughts about that one? 
It's just about being ruthless and creating good habits and the boys have been fantastic. This is an amazing opportunity for the club. I think it's the furthest we've ever been in the trophy. We've got to put that to bed now. Uh, the next round, who we get, we'll concentrate on it then. But we need to turn these performances around and our league form has suffered since we've been having quite a good cup run. So we'll really be reiterating to the boys, carry those performances over. Let's turn those performances into results in the league now because we're certainly a good enough outfit. Uh, we've tested two of the best teams from the north and we've, we've beat both of them. So we really have to get that consistency and ruthlessness into our league form and I think if we can do that and steady the ship then um, we'll, we'll be in a good position. Gaz, uh, what are your final thoughts on, on today and, and looking ahead to Tuesday? On today I'm just, I, I think it was a fantastic win and a fantastic overall performance. You know, Darlot and terrific side, I'm really impressed with them and um, I'm just delighted with today's win and moving into Tuesday it's just about carrying that on now. We know, uh, we know Cambridge inside out, we know they're a good side who are possibly just slightly underperforming at the moment and we're expecting a very tough game here as, as we get every single season from, from, from Cambridge City. So, uh, you know, look forward to Tuesday now. Excellent. Well done, guys, and uh, speak to you soon. Thank you very much.